Hello friends and welcome back. I feel like heating up Kmart today, don't you? Come with me, let's see what's new in the makeup section. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. This is the damage that I did today at Kmart. It's all makeup related. So if you're interested in seeing new makeup from Kmart, then stick around and let's see what's in here. In the interest of getting this video out to you really, really quickly, I'm opening it in my car because as you know, I'm doing a renovation at the moment. There are some corners in the house that are quite finished and that I can use. I just haven't played around with the lighting yet to make sure that I can create something suitable for you. So here I am in my car. Let's get started. I have a huge bag of makeup. I'll insert down here how much I spent for all this. Let me tell you, I always thought that Kmart makeup was really cheap and I related cheap to bad. But that's not necessarily the case. I've been reading some reviews and the makeup is really good. So I thought, let me see what's on the shelves. I'll do a haul today. And then over the next couple of days or perhaps a week, I'll test it on my 55 year old skin. Because you know, makeup looks good on an 18 year old skin. There's no wrinkles, there's no enlarged pores. You know, you might have a little pimple here or there, but otherwise everything works really well when you're young. When you're older and your skin is no longer plump and uh, wrinkle free, then not all makeup works the same. So I thought, uh, let me buy some things from Kmart and then later on test it. So let's start with what I bought here today. I grabbed one of these because I do need to replenish them. I use these on my fingernails to take off nail polish and also on my makeup to take off makeup. So that's the first thing that I bought. There is a lot. No, this is not makeup related. I bought a Hubba Bubba for a little pick me up. Right. I saw the uh, Make Me Blush a blusher in Dusky. This is a really pretty color. Oh, I don't want to wreck all the packaging to open them all, but I'm going to be using it anyway, not returning it. So let's see. I won't do a full review on these. I'll review them when I use it in my next video. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's really pretty. Can you see that there? I'll play with that. I bought an eye primer cream because sometimes if you're buying cheaper makeup, sometimes the makeup doesn't actually sit well and last long. And I wanted to give this a really good fighting chance when I used it. Oh, it's tinted, but I can't tell that it left any color on it. Just left a beautiful silky satin finish on my hand. Bronzer. I bought the wave color. They make it really hard to take things out. Is that the theft? Okay. That's very pretty. It's a very light color, not too dark. So let's see how that goes. And then I bought a clear mattifying and setting powder. Oh, this feels really fine. Oh, that's pretty. Feels really, really fine. I don't apply mattifying powder all over my face because I do like a little bit of youthful blush or youthful flush to my face. And if I mattify the whole face, then it just looks quite dry and then it might settle in my wrinkles. So I tend to just use mattifying powder over my nose and the T-zone, pretty much down the center of my face. Oh, I saw this gorgeous highlighter, blusher and bronzer. And I thought I'd give this a go as well. Let's see how that one is. That was much darker. Okay, perfect. So it will complement the lighter bronzer that I have. 
Okay, the next thing that I brought is the illuminating primer with vitamin E. I love applying an illuminating primer to my face before I apply foundation. So I thought I'd try this out. I think I bought two of them. Mm, I'll find it later on. Ah, yes, here we go. I've also bought the Hydrate Primer with vitamin E. Be interesting to see how these two compare. When I look at the ingredients, at first glance, there's not much difference between them. But I'll have a look at it closer and let you know it later on. Next, I bought a small eyeshadow palette, the Nudes. Can't go wrong with nudes. I always love applying a more neutral color on my face. Although lately I've been applying a bit more orange. Seems to make my green eyes stand out more. Next, uh, there was the Duo Gel Eyelash and Eyebrow Mascara. This seems to be a, a two-in-one product. You can apply it to your eyebrows and to mascara. So it takes up less space in your makeup kit, but also does two jobs in one, which I thought was really cool. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Another mascara that was there by OXX is the Hyper Lash False Lash Mascara. I would have been interested in knowing what the color was because I can't find it on the packaging or what color it is. I'm hoping that it's black when I open it. Actually, let me see. I'm going to be tearing these packets apart in the car. That's at the bottom, no. Okay, it looks like it's going to be black. Next is the Eyebrow Fiber Gel. This one looks like it's in dark, so it will hopefully not be too dark for my eyebrows and hopefully cover this pesky little gray that really is hard to catch sometimes with all the products, especially as it's running out. Sometimes the gel product doesn't catch it, so I'm interested in seeing how this works on that one. There was another mascara called Maximize Intense Volume Length and Definition for Extreme Length. That i'm keen to use now most of these products are all well under ten dollars so it'll be interesting to see how they compare so say for example the likes of maybelline oh that's got a, a lovely little brush it's got plastic bristles hmm. interested to know how that works a precision tip eyeliner pen in black and a hydrating setting spray infused with aloe vera rose water and hyaluronic acid I basically bought everything from the OXX range just because I really want to try pretty much everything in the range. The one thing that I did not buy are any mattifying products. I don't use mattifying products except of course for the setting powder just for the T-zone in my, in my face. So everything is more illuminating, more to give me a dewy, more natural look. So here I also grabbed the Long Lasting Waterproof Mascara Active Lash. I don't normally wear a waterproof mascara, so it'll be interesting to see how the vitamin C oil that I'm currently using to take off my makeup from, also from Kmart, how that's going to work on this. I also grabbed a liner stamp pen, cat eye in black. One thing that Kmart doesn't do that perhaps things like Priceline do is provide samples that you can use in store. You can try it before you buy it. So I'm not really sure what this looks like. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that? Maybe not so clearly. Let me see on my hand. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So if you can't, it's that one there. So if you can't do a cat's eye with your hand, because for example, your hands are perhaps getting a little bit shaky as we're getting older, then this one does it for you. Interesting to see how that works on the actual eye. A liquid eyeliner. Looking at longevity, how it lasts and how it performs on my droopy eyes. And I bought a foundation. I bought it in ivory. Hopefully this is a good match for my skin. If not, I'll just bronze it up as need be. Oh, it's in a glass. Feels like a glass jar. It feels cold. Yep, no, it's a glass jar. That's very fancy. Oh, oops, no, I stuffed up. This is very light. I might have to go back and grab a darker shade. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize ivory was so fair. Okay, I might have to bronze this up. Oh, it's not too bad once you blend it in. Don't put too much on your hand though. There you go. The lighting is probably not that good. I'm in my car, so it's not too bad. It looked lighter than what it is. It's the Luminous Glow Foundation in Ivory. Really lovely. I love the way it feels on my hand. Let's see later how it performs on my face. 
I grabbed a Wanda concealer also in ivory for under eyes just to brighten that area and interesting Kmart also had the luster lipstick I grabbed two colors both pink let's see what they're like maybe this is lady and this is tease okay let's have a look oh this is pretty oh it feels lovely on the hand goes on really smoothly love the look of that and then a lighter one very pretty what do you think they feel lovely sticky but i think that's because it's supposed to be quite hydrating on the lips and then i bought a highlighter stick this the highlighter stick in gold interested in seeing how this also works well that's really pretty hard to tell in this light i'll play with it at home when i put on my makeup and lastly in makeup the daily makeup brush cleaner i wanted to see how i bought setting spray did i buy setting spray oh i've forgotten yes no yes i did buy setting spray okay and then this is a makeup daily makeup brush cleaner i am currently using something that's a little bit expensive um i looked online at how much it is to replace the one liter bottle that i have and it's like 70 dollars and i'm really not prepared to spend that much um, for makeup brush cleaner so i thought i'd test this out and see how this works if you've used something like this or if you've used it let me know otherwise i'll let you know in my next video and then i recently decluttered all my nail polishes because they were all separating from all the different brands that i had and Kmart had this new gel effect nail polish. I bought it in olive. How cool is that color? In teal. In bloom. And in savannah. I love this color here. It's a lovely orange. All up, this cost me. I had to go to three different stores to find everything that I needed and I still couldn't find the new released blush stick that I want to try so I'll keep looking for it and hopefully I'll be able to find it in store soon so all up it ended up coming to just over a hundred dollars for everything that I purchased today that's pretty good considering how much is actually in here for me to try so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet and my next video i will be testing all these items and put it on on video so that you can see how it goes on and how it performs and i'll do a daily check-in of how the makeup is lasting and how it wears at the end of the day and comes up with the makeup remover that i have at home so if all that is interesting look out for my next video coming up Saturday, hopefully. Until then, my friends, have a fabulous day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.